Watch you guys today we're going to be taking a look at how we can back up all our photos and videos from our smartphone to our NAS storage device. Now I've got a Synology uh, NAS drive here which we're going to be backing up all of our photos and videos. Now we know how important it is to back up all your data on a regular basis. The good thing about having a NAS storage device is all the data is stored locally in your home. Now a lot of people do use cloud storage and personally I'm not a fan of cloud storage I think it's a great concept I think it's a really good idea but any type of backup is good I suppose but me personally I still like to have it in my own property where I can get access to it and also uh, no one else can actually view it, it only me and this is why I prefer to have a NAS storage device and these are so affordable nowadays this one is on the expensive side but you can get more affordable and cheaper versions of NAS drives which will help uh, when it comes to backing up your data. So what we need to do here is head over to the Google Play Store and download the app which has been designed by Synology. It's called DS File and uh, basically once we download this we can get it set up and we can also put in all our details which I'll show you step by step on how to do. Uh, to connect to your NAS drive externally with your mobile phone so you can copy over all your data via Wi-Fi. Now you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network here so we're just going to install this uh, application and once this is done we can get to the setup process. It's very straightforward and easy to do. Now Synology makes some of the best network attached storage devices on the market. So once we've got this installed we can click on open and this will open up our DS file we need to do now is click continue and then we can put in our details now you can use your quick connect ID if you've set that up with your network attached storage device I'm just going to put in my details here my account my password and have it all set up for myself so I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that that's now done and you've got a couple of other options here which is HTTPS which I will leave uh, ticked I won't put the remember me on there I'll just leave that unticked and click on login you should now see the folder that you created on your network attached storage and I'm going to click on the little three lines in the top left hand corner and once this opens up I'm going to go to the photo backup feature click on the photo backup next you need to enable photo backup and then you have to give it permission to access your photos, media and files on the phone. So once you've got this, you're going to need to put in your login details once more. You can use your Quick Connect ID or you can use your address, your, which is your IP, your username and your account details and HTTPS. Then click on Next and this will start to log in. Now once it starts to log in, you will get all the uh, photo backup here. And on here you will have your destination, your choose a folder, uh, which is your DCIM folder by default. Or you've got back up all your new photos or you can back up uh, just all the folders on that phone. So it's entirely up to you the way you want to set it up. I'm going to do the DCIM as uh, the folder which I want to back up from, which is on the phone. And this is all your photos and stuff like that. Your destination will be a folder on your network attached storage. I've got a folder called Samsung S9 Plus Photos and I'm going to put on there a bunch of other folders which I want separate which is my WhatsApp and stuff like that. So you can set yours up how you want. Once you're done you can click on done and then once you're happy with using the Wi-Fi and you can click on done and you can keep the original file name and you should now see backing up files. It'll take a bit of time to connect because you're going via Wi-Fi as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network you should now see all the photos which are going across onto my network attached storage from my phone. Now this is a nice way to back up all your photos and videos and all your data from your phone to your network attached storage and of course this is all stored locally in your home so we can basically get access to this at any time we want and also if it's in the cloud it just means that it's not in your possession whereas this way it's backed up uh, to your own uh, storage device in your home which means it's in your possession so let's log into our uh, NAS drive here so I'm going to just basically log in and we can then check to see if all the data has gone across uh, to our particular folder that we chose so I'm going to go to our file station here and you can see there's a bunch of folders in here which I curated 
and uh, this is where all the data is. All my photos and videos have come across from my WhatsApp and also from my Samsung uh, Galaxy S9 Plus phone and it's also backed up all the SD card as well and this will mean that all my photos and videos are safely stored on my drive and they are now in a RAID configuration which means if there's any sort of corruption or a bad drive I'll always have a backup of those uh, files and that's pretty much it really so if you're interested in getting yourself a network attached storage they're not expensive if you get the right version uh, that suits your budget there's all versions there from Synology which you can use that do this type of stuff and there'll be other stuff as well that you can use the network attached storage for like computer backups uh, surveillance systems and all sorts of other stuff uh, which I'll be showing you in the up and coming weeks. Now don't forget to check out our new merch store. They've got some merch on there if you're interested in buying t-shirts and stuff with my logo on them. Other than that, my name has been Brian from bradtechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.